to make provisions for adequate signage and directional road signs for the Federal Capital Territory, standing in the name of Honorable Kola Ole Taiwo. Honorable Taiwo is invited to move the motion. My name is Honorable Kola Ole Taiwo. I represent Ajero of the Federal Constituency. I hereby move that the House note the signage and directional signs promote orderliness and make the society more efficient as it makes locating places and navigation of facilities convenient and easy for users. Also note that most civilized cities across the world have adequate signage and directional road signs for use by both inhabitants and visitors. Concern that there are inadequate signs, signage, and directional road signs on some major roads in the federal capital territory. And some of the existing ones are either worn out or poorly fixed, making it difficult for people to navigate within the city. Also, concerned that impression of the international community about FCT if locating places of interest and businesses is difficult. Worry that many accidents have occurred as a result of motorists not being able to concentrate on driving as they encounter difficulty in navigating using the availability, available roads signs. Also worry that easy access to correct locations and addresses can be very difficult. In cases of emergency, resolve to urge the Minister of Federal Capital Territory to order the erection of signage and directional road signs across the Federal Capital Territory and also mandate the Committee on Federal Capital Territory to ensure implementation. I so move. Honorable Goods amended. Honorable Engineer Johnson, what's your amendment? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, my amendment is to also urge Federal Minister of Works and Housing to erect safe on all federal rules nationwide. It should not be limited to federal capital only. An area of Wajiri by federal constituency from Enugu State. Mr. Speaker, honorable colleagues, in paragraph two of our colleague's motion, he had imputed that also knows that most civilized cities across the world have adequate signage directional road signs for usage by both inhabitants and, and uh, visitors. Mr. Speaker, honorable colleagues, this tends to offend or deny Sorry, I, I, I missed your, what was it? Please, sorry, I was distracted. Mr. Speaker, I had mentioned that our colleague on paragraph two had imputed that in most civilized cities across the world that there, you know, uh, erect road signs and uh, cities, creating the impression which tends to offend order nine, rule seven, with regard to use of language that could be offensive or insulting, I would say that Abuja inhabits people who are civilized. The, only, the thing he ought to have said is that we hired somebody for a job in FCT, which is the minister of FCT, who is not doing what he's supposed to do. 
And I don't want here to activate my privilege that the minister has not appeared. It is a matter we have hired somebody for a job. He is not doing it. The infrastructural situation in Abuja is deplorable. So it's not because Abuja as a city is not civilized, the inhabitants are not civilized. It's because the person we have, we have commissioned as an employee to do the job is not doing so. So I would think that that uh, part of this thing should be adjusted. Thank you very much. So I'm not even, those against me saying, hey, I have it.